So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral by making the given substitution. You see for the concept of integration, and we're given the integral of secant squared of 1 over x to the 7 um, over x to the 8 times dx, and then u is going to equal to 1 over x to the 7. So let's start by rewriting what u is. So u is going to be equal to 1 over x to the 7. So what you should notice here is that x to the 1 over x to the 7 is the same thing as x to the minus 7. That's just going to make it easier to solve, right? Because if you have 1 over x to a variable, it's going to be the same thing as x in the negative of that variable. So, yeah. So, now let's find the derivative of u. So, the derivative of u, right, we represent that by du, is going to be equal to the derivative of x to the minus 7. So, we just move it out front, minus 7x, and then subtract 1, so minus 7x to the minus 8. And then we multiply it by d of our variable, so dx. Then now let's solve for dx. So, dx is going to we divide both sides by minus 7x is minus 8. It'll cancel. So it's going to be equal to du over minus 7x to the minus 8. Cool. Now what we want to do is rewrite our integral. So what we have is secant squared. Then we're replacing 1 over uh, x to the 7 because it's u with the actual letter u. So secant squared of u over x to the 8. Right, but we're going to simplify it a bit more. So what you can see here is this is secant squared of u over x to the 8. It's the same thing as secant squared of u times uh, 1 over x to the 8, right, because that would just go over there. And then 1 over x to the 8 is the same thing as x to the minus 8, right? So we can just rewrite this as x raised to the minus 8 times the secant squared of u. Uh, and then we're going to, so yeah, that's just simplifying what's right here. And then we got to replace dx, right? So dx, we solve for is du over minus 7x to minus 8. So we can cancel out our minus 8s, and then we're just going to move the minus 1 over 7, right? Because this is below. So minus 1 over 7 times the secant squared of u du. And so now all we got to do is take the antiderivative, then replace u with what it actually is. So the derivative of secant squared of u is well we know the tangent of u is the derivative of it is secant squared of u. So the antiderivative of secant squared of u must be the must be tangent of u. So it's just minus one over seven times the tangent of u. And then whenever you take a uh, antiderivative you have to add a constant, so plus c. And then now all we gotta do is replace u with what it, we found it is to be, or they told us, right? So just x to the minus seven. So Minus 1 over 7 times the tangent of u, but we're replacing it with what it is. So x to the minus 7, and then plus c. So this right here is going to be your final answer.